Hey, hey, welcome back to the Inner Circle preview call. Another Tuesday morning over here on the East Coast, almost noon. And uh, Sean, we're, we're a little bit late here. We have some technical difficulties, but that's okay. We work through it. We're having fun. We're ready to party in the Inner Circle. Welcome. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Now that my camera's working, I'm good. How are you? Oh, man. Always fun when you have technical issues. Um, but hey, we're here. We're having humble. fun. It's here to and humble it's, us. It's, it, it does. It keeps us humble uh, and it reminds us of our age because I never have those issues. But anyway, I'm just going to gonna put that out there. <laughs> that was Most a cheap shot. Good thing my hearing's going too. So. <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm fired up. We had, uh, we had a crazy, uh, insane, I don't know all the words for it, but we had an interesting couple of days here over the past few days. So let me kick it to you. Uh, you were you were traveling, we'll say, um, as was I. Let me hear about, let's, let's tell people about what happened to you. What up? These things that happen for us, not to us. Sir. <laughs> well, two things. I could also tell the airport story, which is the architecture in action. I like, was going to ask you about that later, but yeah, please. We'll do that later. <laughs> Terrifying. No, but we're talking about vision. Oh, the song today, the Sound and Vision, great David Bowie, circa 1977. Uh, vision. So where are we in the architecture? Uh, the architecture exists, 10 disciplines. One of those disciplines is navigation. You might think of it as strategic planning. That's built on something that's a little off. So we talk about it as navigation, core values, mission, and now today, vision. And so, uh, but Brandon, you and I have been talking a lot about how um, core values, mission, and vision, when they're off, people know, and that dissonance causes them to vote with their feet, leave, distance themselves, right? So you and I had two very different examples <laughs> of that, I think. Um, me with, uh, I uh, happened to run into someone that I knew from, a, from another room, not this room, another room, and uh, Ended up at the end of it have being extorted for money, <laughs> like like assaulted. There's no other way to. I mean, it's you know, that's I'm getting shaken down by someone who was part of a room that I had been in. That's that's uh, and then right. So we can we can unpack that right, but it violates. It is so dissonant. Oh, I'm sure we'll get into this. Um. Because, you know, we've been in a lot of rooms, Brandon, me and you collectively, and and some of them great, some of them not as great, some of them with people crying as they leave. I don't know. You've got life happens. <laughs> so, we work from home. It's, yeah. it's virtual world. What are we going to do, right? We can, I'll yell through the door. My cat might jump up here in a second. But so, <clears throat> uh, it's so, it's so, so these rooms, these people, and we've been in them and, and I'm okay. Like there was one last week I was talking to a guy, I was wearing a jacket. He said, Oh, have you been a part of that thing? I said, well, they make a heck of a jacket. But as it turns out, the room was this, and this, and this, and there, they were lying and the, the, it was theatrical and people were crying and this is terrible. Okay. So it was not a great room, but they, from from the second you interact with their marketing are all about guard dogs this is how we roll like really intense imagery and language and that kind of thing so you know what you're getting there so it's like okay that's not a great room but i know what i'm getting it's it's in alignment with the music they're playing but then you go to another room where it's we will never do the certain things and then they're doing them. You know, this is not. Did this just happen? Like sometimes, you know, you're in a place and it's great. We're all we're all family. And then the next thing you know, your face is being shut <laughs> out of a car. They're like, you're gonna pay me sixty large, or this is gonna get work. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is not so great. So I'm okay with like the first one. If it's like this is who we are, this is how we roll. It's rough in here. That's great. Not my cup of tea, but okay. <laughs> and then, but because core values have to be demonstrated, 
It doesn't matter what you say you are. How, who you are, what you are, will show up in the world. That is, and that is the scorpion's response. Why would you sting me? I'm a scorpion. The scorpion, at least, you can respect the scorpion. It doesn't advertise otherwise. Scorpions never are like, I'm just a chicken. <laughs> you're not a chicken, you're a scorpion. They never do that. The stripes betray the zebra. Truth will out. How are they showing up in the world? But you, Brandon, that, that, and that is all that needs to be said. Well, about. I want to, yeah, I do want to pause there and then I'll, I'll tell you about my week, which was uh, amazing. But bef before we go there, that is the perfect example of why we're here, why the inner circle exists and why we're doing this, uh, you know, to be completely honest and transparent, which is a, what we do here note that but um you know just just to show behind the walls here like we have we have deals on the table uh right now and you in the past have have been a fractional coo and a consultant at the biggest of the biggest companies in the world we do not need to put ourselves and, and put together a room like this but we want to because of the lies and manipulation that is out there we have both been in these rooms where they say one thing they say they're the chicken but they're always the scorpion in the end. There's lying, there's manipulation, there's price walls, there's gatekeeping information. So you pay them more. And I'm, I'm quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. I know you are too. That's why we're here. That's why the inner circle exists, but it is just, it is truly shocking. I don't know why it's shocking, but it always shocks me when someone says they're one thing. And then three weeks later, you see the true the true version of them, and they are not in alignment with their core values. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Well, okay. So yeah. So there's two. There's two reasons. The one is it's how do we get this mess message out there faster to people? The architecture so they can transform their business to more people faster. This is how. Second is true to what how we think of it is the lighthouse and the storm, which is why we have luminaries. The wick. That's a candle reference on purpose. We have the wick, the what if inner circle. We have the luminaries. We have this guiding stars, the shining lights. All these things are supposed to be the light and storm. So we're also building a room where we know like the social contract we have will never be violated. And it's the reason it shocks you, Brandon, is because you just, you can't like, you can't believe it, right? And then it's the same way that when we've talked about this before, the, the person that's shocked on the news where they say, well, we found 27 bodies buried in your neighbor's backyard. What do you have to say about it? Clearly you knew that you were living next to the, one of the world's most prolific serial killers. What say you, Brandon? And you're like, ah. <laughs> and they look shocked because they want to go. They're like, yeah, I mean, I, I know he lot of, did a lot of digging at night, but he told me he was gardening. And that he easily gets heat strokes, which is better for him to dig all night long after I heard screaming. Oh, my God. I did hear this scream. I should have. Known. Why didn't I? I should have known. I it's have always known. right in front of you. It was always right there. And then you go that. Ugh, I, just, ah, I, I shared a burger with that guy. Oh, my God. Honey, did we get? That was our meat, right? Like, you've got to, like, <laughs> check, like, well, how deep does this go? Did I? Did I also eat people? Jeffrey Dahmer did have me over his house for, you know, lady fingers. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was okay. right there. That, that's enough serial killer references for one. No, I should have known. But so when, when, when that kind of violence behind the eyes it suddenly confronts you and you said, this is a person I trusted for mm -hmm. first people to, and, until mere moments ago. And then you go, oh, I get it. Okay, so, and that's why, and we feel like I I danced with the, but for the grace of God, I could have been one of those bodies. Now we have, we have the architecture, and so nothing shakes it. We come back and go, did we see that? Could we lay the architecture up against how that organization manifests in the world? And then do the calculus to say, here's the true, here's the true intent, and here's here's the course that it's going to flow, and and rooms of eighty will become thirty, will become fifteen, will become fear, angst, blame. 
yeah. laid bare by the architecture. Now, it also shows you the rooms and the places and the people that you want to deal with when they are in complete alignment with the shared core values. Let's turn this thing around, Brad. Yeah, no, we have we have got a couple more minutes before we jump into to the inner circle um, inside the room here. And this week we're discussing discussing vision. Um, so yes, we're gonna we're gonna lay this out real quick. Then we'll have to jump into the room. So more on vision in a little bit. But I had the probably greatest three days uh, in in my business career, I think. And that is not an overstatement. That's not being dramatic. We had, uh, if you joined us in our our Bob Challenge, our Business Operations Blueprint Challenge a few weeks ago, you heard on day three from one of our luminaries, Stephanie Scheller from Grow Disrupt. She runs an organization. She's based in Texas. We went to Phoenix this week on a retreat, uh, Flagstaff actually, and she runs an organization much like ours designed to disrupt the way you think about your business. She focuses a ton on marketing and she is an expert in her field, but it is so refreshing to meet people who are in alignment with who they are and also who we are as a company and, and our mission, core values and our vision. And it was, I, I can't even, I can't go into a ton of detail because we don't have a lot of time, but it was the most thought out and well-planned event in the business world that I have personally ever been a part of. And I've been a part of a lot of them to date. So I'm just so excited that we we are partnered with people like that. And even in that room, we found another potential luminary who we're in talks with right now to bring inside the inner circle who who you will learn from when you join us on the inside here. Um, he is a, a he is a world class speaker. He can teach you how to get in any room you want and in front of any person you want and actually build true, meaningful relationships, not you know, not get in there with sleazy tactics and, and how to, how to get your, the yes quickest. And, and with all these backhanded techniques, we're not into that over here. We want to partner with people who do it right. And uh, we met a lot of those people. I met a lot of those people in Flagstaff. So I was incredibly thankful for that week. A shout out to you again, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie, you and your team are absolute rock stars. We are so excited to partner with you. Uh, and for those of you not involved in the inner circle yet, who won't be joining us inside the walls in just a few minutes. Um, it's not too late to get involved. I'm gonna put this on the screen, whatif.com slash inner circle, get yourself signed up, apply to join now. Um, but yeah, Sean, I'm so excited about the people we partner with and, and just the, the organization, both inside What If and the partners we have that we're building here, because it, we're gonna change the world of, of masterminds. We're gonna show people what it can be and what it actually should be. I love it. One quick tip for everybody, your vision, the way we do it, not everybody does it, does it this way. The vision should have a time bound frame on it because we need to inspire to a place. This is what makes it. Do I have, do I have 30 seconds? Frame you got plenty it? of time. We're going to, we'll, we'll run the inner circle call long as we always do. We're here to add value. Okay. So please say what you got to say. Okay. So some people still will mayonnaise core values, mission, and vision together, mix it up, thinking it's better because they did that. And it's actually worse. They're losing the power of keeping each one distinct. So we did the core values, those inviolable things that you will never deviate from in your business. Okay. It's who you are. And that is what people are buying, whether they know it or not. Okay. Along with the widget, because they need a widget. Okay. But they get that. The mission is your why. Um, and then and your per this is your purpose. Why I exist. And then your vision has a time bound end on it to move me forward. And I also know, have some kind of judgment. Are we, are we making it happen or not? And so if you say five and five to seven years is about how much you can conceive and get your estimation right as to where you should be and how much is a push and how much is demotivating they want this to be motivating and one of the ways you could do that and make sure that it is enough of a push is it should make you scared if you don't get butterflies a little bit and if you have an idea of how you're going to do it then it's too close and it's not enough of a stretch you should be able to look at it and say 
I have no idea how I'd be able to do that. Because the next step, when we're talking about how then we operate and how we put this into effect, you are going to see that we are going to accelerate the speed to get there. But for right now, I should be a little breathless at the idea that that's too much. I don't know how to do that. The me of today cannot do that. I will have to become more. I will have to learn more. I will have to partner with. I will have to leverage everything in my architecture. And then I will achieve it. And, and that is inspirational. And then once you're getting closer and closer, you go, oh, I see now. All it took was one merger, one conversation, one proper room in alignment with me. And now here I am, right? Now I'm close enough. I can see now we need to redo this to set the bar a little further. And this is what changes it from, so Brandon, it's, it's the dark ages. You're Brandon, the bricklayer. And you're looking for work. You're like, you go to the first company organization, <laughs> such as it is. And you're like, what do you guys do? Well, we lay bricks. That's what we do. And uh, our vision is bricks, bricks everywhere. <laughs> okay. Good vision. Solid. 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 You want bricks. Six out of 10. Go ahead. <laughs> you go to this guy and say, now, it's your vision. Our vision is. This is big. This is big lift for the 1200s. What, what you know to say with? <laughs> with big lift. Our vision is architecture that truly inspires people. Let's climb out of these dark ages. Well, that's great. And what's your vision for that? In the next five to seven years, we're going to build two of the most magnificent art, uh, cathedrals as an homage to our creator and a defender against the plague. And they will be magnificent to behold, and they will inspire people to come and I don't know, learn to read instead of <laughs> throw that in there, just in case. Instead of, I don't know. I, I will come and work for you. And and in those five years, because look, it's, it's the dark ages, Brandon. You may not live to see the end of this thing, so you're just gonna lay bricks. So I'm I'm still hearing that I'm gonna lay some bricks and possibly die. But this is the difference between building a cathedral. And just an endless bricklaying, right? Where I go postal and come back and lose my mind because it is monotonous and not inspirational. At all. I know what I'm building. So I know that the lever pulling job I have, however tedious it might be, is serving the mission in alignment with my core values towards a goal that I can see that we can track towards and that we'll, we'll, we will then keep pushing that metric out to the distance. If it's just a computer on every desk in every home, sorry, Microsoft, but that when like you, in, in the 70s sounds like, or 80, right? That sounds a lot. A lot of heavy lifting. I'm going to die before I see that. As opposed to now, and now it wouldn't inspire you at all. No. Because it's pretty much the case. And so. It's computer in every pocket. Yes. It, it's got to be relevant. I so. Snip it. Yeah. Let's go help people do this anything else you wanted to say about yes so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna jump into the inner circle again it's on the screen there if you'd like to apply to join our mastermind um let's try to craft the vision statement for for us then so in the next five to seven days uh what if maybe that's too short what if we'll solve our tech issues and get rid of crying babies how's that sound <laughs> is that a compelling vision for the future I don't like the phrase, get rid of crying baby. I and, uh, said what I said, <laughs> and we will see you in the inner circle. Listen, next week, we're going to tie this all together. I want to spend one more week on Navigate because it is so, so important. It is truly the foundation. So we're going to show you how um, it, we tie all three concepts together. We've talked about mission. We've talked about core values. And today we're talking about vision. We're going to wrap that all together, make sure it is a coherent core for your business and then we will move on. And we show you how to push it, push it through the pipes yes. that we're building on all the rest of the elements. Correct. So we're going to jump into the inner circle. If you have not applied to join us, it's on the screen. Otherwise, we will see everybody in the room right now. And Sean, I will see you in there and then also here next week.